Bringing 262 Heavy, wind calm, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff, caution weight turbulence, previous departure, Heavy uh, 777. Hello, welcome aboard our Boeing 757. This is a very special Boeing 757. We'll get to everything here in just a minute. I want to look at the outside. Look at the pretty plane. Oh, look at it. It's even got writing on, on the tops there. We're here at London Heathrow because, well, it's a British Airways 757, so where else would I put it, honestly? Um, I didn't know, so I went with Heathrow, because that made sense to me. All right, so let's be inside and get off of our gate. Really, that's as far back as I can go. Apparently, that's as far back as I can go, which is kind of weird. Um, was it Control Enter? Yes. We use Control Enter to get farther back. Wow. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at all that stuff. Okay. Why is this aircraft so special? Well, I'll tell you why. Just Flight is a modding group that sells mods for Flight Simulator X. They sell quality stuff. The link down below will tell you take you to Just Flight. This is a free 757 off of their Just Flight line. Okay? You get one livery and one style. This is the only livery, the Boeing the 757 200 British Airways. You only get the one style which is the, again the 200 but with Rolls-Royce engines. That's it. You can go buy livery and other bits and bobs, but here we go with a quality should be a very high quality. I mean, look, there's there's a a Ja a, a, a high visibility jacket back there, for goodness sake. Um, so this should be a very high quality. I'm expecting a lot from this. Um, I didn't like that I got right on top of the, the pedals there, but uh, I can't remember how to make it go down. No, that's, that opens that. I don't want that. I don't want you anymore up there, thingy. Uh, hide menu bar. I said hide. Hide menu bar. Thank you. Jeez. Okay. Um, I don't remember how to, get, how to how to sit down in my seat. So uh, let's talk about our 757. It is a obviously a midsize narrow body twin jet. It was designed at the same time as the 767. It shares a huge amount of common commonality, relatively, with the 767. Due to that commonality, a pilot can get a common type certificate to fly both a 767 and a 757 and, they, and in most airlines they'd be at the same seniority level which seriously reduces the cost for the airline because the airline can now schedule their pilot either to fly 57 or 67. It's really nice. The wings have a super critical cross section to them and they're swept 25 degrees. Now that's not the deepest sweep but for the the flight mission profile this aircraft was to have, then that wasn't such a bad thing. Now this particular model does not have blended wing winglets, but blended winglets have been added to 757s pretty regularly. Most airlines in the United States, their 757s have blended winglets. What's the big deal about blended winglets? 5% increase in fuel efficiency, huge, and 200 extra nautical miles of range. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's um, let's try to get this sucker into the air. <sighs> I'm kind of scared about trying to get this guy into the air. Um, let's get some flap. Let's go look at our flap. Look at our flaps. Oh, they're cute. All right, get back in there. All right, we don't need a whole lot. One thing I will say about 757s, I absolutely adore flying 757s because it feels like a rocket ship. I mean, living here in Denver, taking off out of Denver International, where Denver International is at 5,000 feet. And in the summer, it's hot. And so we're considered a hot and high airport. In fact, Boeing tested the 787 here for hot and high here in Colorado Springs. Um, let me go ahead and try to take this guy off. Um, and one of the reasons they did is, um, well, one of the things I like about 757 is, oh, look at those, hear those engines? Oh, that sounds so realistic. I love the sounds of the 757s, those big Rolls Royce, in this case, 
Rolls Royce RB211s producing, depending, somewhere between 37,400 and 43,100 pounds of thrust. Can you hear the aircraft funking? <laughs> That's awesome. What else are we going? I don't know. Why are we veering off center line? I don't know. Can we take off yet? Here we go. Maybe. Here we go. Wheels up. And I think I'm bringing flaps in. <laughs> I think. <laughs> One thing I always love about the 757s is really the performance. You, you're pushed back into your seat so much more in a, in a 757, especially a low, a, uh, a low engine cycle 757, than you are in a 7. 37, an MD-80, uh, any of the aircraft, until you get up to the really big boys, like 777, get some serious oomph to it. So I absolutely love the 757s. Um, I did a lot of Denver to Atlanta, and Denver to Atlanta is served mainly by Delta's 757 fleet, who, Delta, by the way, happens to be one of the largest operators of 757s. Alright, so we're up here... Um, uh, in addition to the Rolls-Royce, of course this is a Rolls-Royce air, uh, airframe, but in addition to the Rolls-Royce, I'm sorry, I'm trying to check my airspeed, I don't know where my airspeed, oh there's my airspeed, okay, we're under the 250 mark, we're good. Um, in addition to the Rolls-Royce, you could, they could be ordered with two Pratt & Whitney 2037, 2040, or 2043 engines, they would produce somewhere between 38.4 and 43.7, uh, 43. 38,400, 43,700 pounds of thrust. Let's think about that again. We're talking about the same thrust, by and large, as you get in a Eurofighter. The same thrust as you get in an Avro 730 in a passenger plane. It's kind of funny to think about that. Uh, 757 can carry about 200 passengers in a two-class configuration. 530 mile per hour cruise speed and 4,100 nautical mile range with winglets. Okay, so let's quiet her down a little bit. Level off at, eh, whatever. We level off at. Oop, that's going down. Come on, baby. Why are you going down? I want you to continue going sort of levelly. Sort of levelly? Sort of levelly. There-ish. Okay. Alright, let's hit our key. Shift one. There is that for us. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Shift two. Oh, I think that thing works. Hold on, we'll get to that in a minute. Shift three. There's our overhead panel. Holy moly mother of goodness. Okay, we can't press... E oh, wait, what's this? Mic six. Like two mic wow, a mic selector? I guess. PA dummy switch. Wee. Okay, well the switches sound nice though. Uh, Alright. Uh what was that? Three? Yeah, four. There's our overhead panel. Okay, so that was the com panel. That's the com panel. That's our overhead panel. Let's flip some switches. What's this one? Taxi lights. Uh, listen to this, the sound of the, the switches. That's awesome. Hydraulic pump. Let's not turn that off. <laughs> Left pack reset. Click L or R to select. I would rather not, because... Can I... Oh, how do I... Is this like a... There's got to be a way to make that work. Wait, click left... Oh! Right click! Look at that! <laughs> That's cool. Alright. Cool. Um, what was that? Four? Yeah. Five is... Alright, we're going to come back to that. Six is the important GPS. Seven... Um, I'm, I'm actually going to buy important GPS. It means I'm going to put it on the other screen. There we go. Alright, so shift Don't seven. Don't think great. Hush! Don't think great. Hush! Think great. Be quiet! Alright, um, shift 7 gets us that attitude indicator, 8 gets us 
VOR uh, 9 that gets us our uh, engine monitoring zero doesn't actually do that okay so which one was it six no six was that five five aha so this has one of these joyous little boys here um, we had this on the 767 that I did much earlier something I don't actually understand how to use but I know this much having it is a huge thing um, again I kind of expected this from just flight but you have a full flight management computer on board and that's huge. So if you're looking for a 757 and you, you like flight management computers, <laughs> there you go. There's one with a flight management computer. Or here's one with a flight management computer. Look at the reflections in the windows. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to try to land at whatever air runway is down here. I don't know what it is. I don't really care. Hopefully it's long enough. It has an ILS glide slope, so I'm hoping. Right? It's E-G-U-B, I think. But it crosses the E-G-L-J. Who I presume is not nearly as big. But I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is, this is going to end in tears for all involved. We already know this. Alright, so that... That's E-G-L-J. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. It looks like it has a long enough runway. I'm gonna go for that one. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. Sank rate. Oh, stop it. Sank rate. Just stop it. Sank rate. It, it definitely wants to go down. You, you definitely would have to spend some time trimming it so that it doesn't want to wander in the down direction quite as much. Um, and he's very angry about it when you're going, when you're going down too much whatever so yeah it's this looks like a real I mean overall a really really nice mod obviously <laughs> you usually have to pay for it Let's see can we actually look at other things Ooh, left side yeah that's fine uh, landing gear Ooh, that's always a fun view logo oh look it's logo view jail uh, oh, jeez that'd be an impossible view um Wait, can, if I'm in here, can I turn the camera and look inside? No, I can't. Oh, I'm actually outside of the plane. Well, that would be why then. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, okay, virtual cockpit. Alright, I'm going to go out to the WCO intersection, I think. Because it's like five nautical miles this way before I start a long turn around. We're going to try to land this thing. This is going to be for science. <laughs> All right, air brakes should be a set of six spoilers. There they are. One, two, three, four. Now. Oh yeah, some of them would be together, wouldn't they? Okay, bah. All right. Uh, what else did I come out here for? I don't remember why else I came out here. Oh well, there you go. There are those things. We're going to need them, I'm sure. Alright. Is there a way to, to announce to the anybody in the cabin that they should brace for impact and that their death is imminent? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, we are at... Oh, it's going to start screaming at us here in a minute about sink rate. Alright, we're at uh, my turnaround point. Whee! I have watched, so there's some, there's a video on YouTube, you can probably look for 757 Iceland Air takeoff. There's an Iceland Air 757 that is taking off empty at an air show and just shows the performance of the 757. It's just so beyond other aircraft. I mean, you wouldn't get the kind, that kind of performance out of a, an a A320 or an A321. Um, you don't. You certainly don't get the, the the punch in the gut, and I think that was partially. It was just a little bit overpowered. <laughs> it is kind of a gas guzzler when compared to uh, 737, which is what killed the uh, what actually killed the aircraft. Boeing was 
brought out a 757-300, which is a stretched model. And they were, they were, they were trying to sell it. And what happened was airlines were choosing to go with the 737-800 and 900 over the 757. And as their sales kept sliding, they finally made the call like, hey, you know, we, we can't, we can't do this. So they killed the 757 in favor of the the late the new generation 737s, the 800 and the 900. It was really the conversion of Continental of all of their 757-300s over to the 737-800 that really basically put the nail in the coffin for the 757. The last 757 was delivered to Shanghai Air, I believe. But like I said earlier, largest operator of the 757 today. I think it's still Delta. All right, I have a runway visual. I have to ignore the lights of EGLJ in favor of the farther lights of EGUB. We are at way too much speed, so let's put some spoilers out. Sink rate. I'm sinking Sink at a rate, rate I approve of. Hush Sink off. Rate. Okay. No, I don't want to go up. Oh, I'm seeing some red lights, and that's what I want to see. Okay, keep going down in speed here. Twenty five hundred. Yeah, I know. All right, closing those. Here we come. We have a little bit of flap on. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more. I'm so off the, the line of the runway. Meh, you know. I'll look at it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna throttle up a little bit because we're a little bit low. I don't actually know the approach speed, again, of my aircraft. So I'm gonna kinda wanna pull it up a little bit here. Throttle up. We can always, you know, use these big Rolls Royce engines to do a go round. I always felt the 757 to be sort of like the sports car of the civilian aircraft, or the large civilian aircraft, anyway. When you think about it, it really, those engines are just way too big for the aircraft. Um, and they actually made the reason the 757 sits higher. Than the 737, it's got those big stork wheels on it. It's because I actually wanted the design to be capable of being expanded um, relatively easily. So it was a conscious decision on their part. Here we go. You know, seven, the 757 300, yes, I know. 757 300 actually has a retractable tail skid to prevent tail strike on takeoff. Alright, we're a little bit high again. Big shock there, I know, right? Alright, I'm definitely not the best gravity pilot. Okay, here we come. 500. Yeah, 500, thank you. I'm high as usual. 400. That's alright, that's alright. Pull up a little bit. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Woohoo! We made it. Reverse thrust. The big thrust reversers. Look at us. We did it. We landed, and I, are you kidding me? Did I actually land on center line? <laughs> awesome. I, I actually landed nearly on center line. What in the world am I doing? <laughs> wow. Well, I guess, I guess I need to, to, to do whatever I did before this flight again. Wow. So here we go. This is a just flight 757. This is a freemium aircraft. 
you do have to register an account with Just Flight. Just register the account. It's worth it. Um, honestly, they have some awesome aircraft. If you're really in the Flight Simulator X and you really want some quality aircraft, I haven't seen anybody complain about Just Flight aircraft. So there we go. Let's stop the aircraft. Let's reduce that. Let's get our flaps retracted. Let's shut down our engines. Let's open up our door. There we go. So there is the Just Flight 757-200. The link is down below. Again, you'll have to register. Just do it. Get the plane if you want a 757. It's a really awesome model. You have a flight management computer. The graphics are really nice. It's worth it. And also, I can't find another free 757 anywhere that looks decent. Why not get one that should be $20, honestly? So, till next time, it's been Derek Tubbers with your Flight Simulator X Spotlight.